I'm gonna have you turn around real quick. This way? Yep. This way. Uh, I didn't need to go. <laughs> so today, I'm joined with a special guest. Maria, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Maria Zhang. Uh, I play Suki in Netflix's live action of Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, I am Polish and Chinese. I was born in Poland, but I grew up in Beijing all my life. So I speak Polish to my mom and uh, Chinese to my dad. Um, and I learn English at international school. All right, so today we're going to play a game called Find a Hidden Chinese Imposter. <laughs> Behind us, there are nine people. Eight of them are Chinese, one of them is an imposter. Okay. Okay, the objective of this game is you want to try and figure out who is the imposter. Okay. So I'll go ahead and get you started with the first question. Okay. Introduce yourself and tell me where you're from and then you can use your language of choice and yeah. Uh, 你好, uh, 我, 我的中文名字叫做李雷, uh, 我从小在内蒙古长大, 然后我 小的时候要骑马去上学，住在蒙古包。然后我的父母也是蒙古人，我后面去了美国读书，在爱荷华州立大学那里有一片玉米地，非常的茂盛。Okay, number two. Hi, my name is Jacob. I born was born in LA on the east side of LA. Grew up with a Hong Kong born dad and a Vietnam born mom. 你好。我来自中国武汉，我现在可以唱一首歌给你听。繁星劳动，我的头脑从八小时开始生几根，妈妈一针几打针，谢谢。啊，唱得好。Hello， <笑> 我叫王牧阳，就是啊，我妈妈从。四川成都来的但是我爸爸就是美国人所以我在美国长大了但是现在就可以用请个来说话因为都可以很开心可以在这里跟你们说话大家好我是 第一次跟大家一起录节目，然后非常开心。大家好，呃，我叫Alex，然后我家是香港人，然后作为华人，我最喜欢做的事情就是打麻将。大家好，呃，我中名叫苏玉，来自亚历山那，呃，大学搬来
thing. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I want to hear you say a little something. Um, yeah, I was just pretty much born here in America. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Are you ready to eliminate someone? Oh, so who I'm sure is Chinese. Yeah, so you're sure, okay. you're sure is um, Chinese, so we're going to eliminate them. Okay, okay. Um, you told me about your uh, bringing your daughter to Seattle. Wuhan. You're from Wuhan, right? Okay, I'm going to get to eliminate. All right, yes. so you want to eliminate number three? Yes, I think she's Chinese. Uh, number three? You have been eliminated. What gave it away for you? She, she just had a very specific dialect. <laughs> and I felt like just the way she talked was like she came from China. So I feel like she was, she was the second I heard her talk, I was like, she's from 100%. Do I, do I get to find out if that was right? No. Oh my gosh. You so you're not going gonna find, you're not gonna find out to the very end. I, I'm gonna torture you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. What kind of food would your mom cook for you growing up? Okay,因为妈妈从成都来的<笑> 很好吃,然后是有点辣的那种,很好吃 Six, can you say something? <laughs> Just, I want to make sure it's your voice Yeah, it's my voice Can you say something in Chinese? <laughs> 讲两句 <laughs> 好,讲两句,讲两句 Okay, okay, 六六六, yeah <laughs> Six <laughs> Alright, six You've been eliminated Maria, have to close your eyes <laughs> What gave it away for you for number six? I heard like Accent was just like when she spoke Chinese, it just sound like she grew up. I mean, we have both Chinese Americans and, and Chinese people here, so I don't know, like something about her energy too, like the way she was. Her energy was Chinese. Eat your energy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. It makes, it makes sense. sense. Yeah. What's your uh, Chinese New Year tradition at home? We yeah, wow. Sorry. Sorry, is there uh, uh, in Can you can you tell me Yeah,我最喜欢新年的传统,就是跟大家吃饭,我们也有红包,red envelopes are great. Uh,我也非常喜欢那首歌,那个,恭喜恭喜恭喜你,恭喜恭喜你,yeah,觉得蛮不错。So that was everyone, do you have a follow-up question for anyone? Uh, no, I think I can eliminate the next person. Um, I think it was number four. Whoever sang Gong Xi Gong Xi Gong Xi Was that number four, I think? Was that you? Okay. I think I think I'm good to eliminate number four. Okay. Um, can I have you close your eyes real quick? Yeah. Okay. Number four. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, you can open your eyes. I, I just the he sang this song that's like very specific for Chinese New Year, where you hear it like in malls and stuff. And even if you're like grew up here, I feel like you would know it very well. But now I'm slightly guessing my decision. <laughs> okay. I feel like they could have lived in China for a while, but that's okay. We're committing to it. What is your favorite Chinese song? And if possible, can you give me a sample? Um, I really like. The band Wu Yue Tian when I was little, but I couldn't sing any of it. My favorite Chinese song, it really shows my age and generation, is Tonghua. My favorite Chinese song was one I learned in Chinese class in high school. It's called Xiao Pinguo. 
I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> sing it. <laughs> no, um, I'm kidding, it's okay. Wait, what is your name? It's like, You are my little Xiao 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 or currently? Ningning Ning from Espa. <laughs> um, Vivian Chow from Hong Kong. I think I'm okay to eliminate seven. Number seven. What are your thoughts on Avatar The Last Airbender? <laughs> and what do you think about Suki? <laughs> Number two. Are all opinions valid here? Yeah, yes. absolutely, dude. Say whatever. Oh. It's a big weight off my shoulders. Um, it's trash. It's, it's trash. Oh. awful. Awful. I, I hate it. I hate it so much. I love it. It's my childhood. Wait, so you hate it because you love it so much? You love the original so much. Yeah, it's like a love-hate relationship. It comes back into my life when I least expect it. Because it, it like consumes away. your life, that's why you exactly. hate it so much. Like this uh. is like the third round has come back and I'm like... It's like, it's like a point, drug, it like poisons you when you yeah, watch it. It's a bad addiction, I really should curb it. That was a hot take, man. <laughs> <laughs> you really set yourself up for a huge misinterpretation. You have, you have a follow-up statement for that? Any of those? Opinions are valid. There you go. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I think I'm good to eliminate eight. Eight? You're out of here. That's nice. Tell me about your family kitchen and if there was anything that was very specific to like a Chinese household. The one condiment I like the most from our kitchen is lagama. I put on everything. <laughs> Okay. Nine. <laughs> you ready to get rid of someone? Yeah, I'm good with nine. Nine? Get out of here. Okay. Number one and two. What are your thoughts right now? I hope I'm right. <laughs> I think <laughs> I know. Num number one's story is so specific. Like, I wish I was living the life. That it, makes, it makes you think if it's right, if that makes sense. Okay. Number one, what, what was your favorite part of growing up Chinese? I think my favorite part is definitely the food. The food is bomb. Um, and all my family gatherings kind of just surround the food. Okay. Okay, you ready to make a decision? I feel like I might have eliminated the imposter. <laughs> but we're gonna commit to one being the imposter. Okay, so your final answer is one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have you close your eyes. Very unsure. Okay, number two, <laughs> can I have you leave? You chose number one as the imposter. How are you feeling about your choice? Not great, honestly. I thought Not I was gonna be better at this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maria, can I have you open your eyes? Ah! Number one, introduce yourself. I want your life. Oh my gosh, you just live on a bar. Oh my god, wow. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you nice too. Meet you. I'm sorry I got it wrong. Okay, Maria. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have you turn around real quick. This way? Yep. This way. I thought you were mixed. I thought you were mixed. I was like, okay, I knew your Chinese wasn't perfect. Yeah, And you threw me off with the Wow. You did a great job, though. I tried. I feel like that was harder than I thought. Okay, what was what was most confusing about number four for you? Yeah, so I was like, I could, I could hear the differences, right? Like, like someone that grew up here, but like, or 
uh, but I should have considered that you might have learned it later on. Wait, tell me how you speak Chinese. <laughs> so I lived in China for about four months. I was working okay. in Hangzhou as an English teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And while I was there, I did go to Shanghai to Shanghai Yuan, so that works too. Shanghai everything he said was very specific. Yeah. So I was like, okay. I was trying to walk like the fine line of like not too specific, but apparently that worked really good too. Yeah. I totally made up all my story and my <laughs> yeah. My, my Wait, so, so you're not from um, I, Mongol? No, no, no. Oh, no, no that's no, what no, I was. I, I was like, well, but I also didn't want to be rude if you're actually from Mongol and you live on the Mongol ball. And I was like, well, that's sick if that's actually your life. That's the, that's the credit. Okay. That was hard. I feel like I should have gotten that right. <laughs> so how do you think you did? Not great. <laughs> I'm so sorry fun. they tricked you. That's okay. That's your job. <laughs> That's it for our video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>